Hello, hello, my melodies. We are back into the Premium Collection Paldean Fates box week. Um, we are diving into the Skeledurge EX um, box. It's the same setup as Miascarada that we did on Monday, but um, it's, you know, eight packs, three promo cards, an oversized card, and then that kind of collector protection piece on the back. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and open this up and dive into the packs. Alrighty, throw that in the trash over there. Okay, so again, we have one through eight for the packs. Make your predictions down below. Of course, we have the shinies of the promo cards. We'll put those up over here. And same thing as the previous one, we have a magnetic holder. It is uh, kind of the same plastic and display piece, but those are those are going to go in the binder, not in here. So maybe I can find a better better or a different use for that. And then we also have the jumbo. Let me go ahead and uh, get my jumbo binder out. What was it? I just started the zipper, and we found out last time. Of course, it is the smaller sleeves. I can go ahead and sleeve it up and add it to the binder. There's one of the sleeves there. I was trying not to get stick on the sticky. We will tuck this back there. And we'll sleeve up. Sleeve up the big guy. So yeah, same size as the V jumbos or oversized cards. And then let's take a look. I haven't actually seen this uh, I haven't really sat down to look at this attack. So heal 30, that's not really a raid boss one, but it does 10 less damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. And odds are, um, well, when I attack, there's gonna be a lot, so it would be zero. So I'm actually gonna not add this to the boss binder. I think this will go to my collection binder um, as a separate set, because I, I don't think it's playable too much. <laughs> that's something I have to look at for for each of the jumbos oh pokemon center got pushed uh, pushed out of the way for a little bit why are we we're off size lopsided i don't know anyway we're also going to do compare card today for today's pack battle so slot number six we're doing category number one which is hp and we're looking for the highest hp since it is an even we do heads and tails of course for heads being higher tails being lower and that's that's how that dice roll works okay let me know which pack in the comments down below you think will have the highest rarity pools which pack will have the win a compare card um win in the compare card category and yeah let's just have some fun opening pokemon cards together I appreciate you coming and, and hanging out. We got Crisis Punch, and then we got Dashbun with 90. So 90 is going to start out the compare card um, trend. Oh, we got Dashbun again, Atticus, and a Mimikyu for pack number one. So nothing in the MVP section yet, but we'll get, we'll get something. The last uh, the Miascarada box was pretty good I would say it's a it's an average pull rate um, I think it's probably in my in my mind I'm gonna spend money on ETBs or the booster bundles when they come out to try and finish this set got electric generator doesn't have HP so it doesn't get to the compare card but yeah let me know down below which um, which Paldean Fates product you think is best um, which one are you opening? Which one are you able to get? I know uh, for the international folks, people not in the U.S., getting some of these products are very hard or it's very cost prohibitive. So thank you for hanging out and you know watching me open and stuff. I am very fortunate to be able to go out and find these things in stores. It's part of the fun while going shopping. Um, oh, another trainer. So another one not going to be in the 
compare card, and we have a beautiful love trio, and then an armor rouge. Let's go ahead and sleeve up this wug trio put it out in the mvp section get that party started of course mvp stands for mark's valuable pokemon card section so that's where they are that was pack number three so i feel like the these i thought because there are only three of them in the set i thought they were going to be hard to pull but based on the pull rates and what I've been seeing around League. this I think this is going to go up on League Day. So hopefully I will see you later at uh, Pokemon League. Um, come up, say hi. I'll have my trade binder. I've been finally getting through and being able to uh, fill out some of the trades. And I should have some of these pools. Oh, I just shook the rest of them. <laughs> but I should have some of these pulls from some of these videos in the trade binder. So if you need a Wug Trio, I know that's going to be in the trade binder. Feel free to stop me and say, hey, I want to trade. I saw you had a Wug Trio. <laughs> but yeah. I uh, got Woobat, Wooper, and a Research. But yeah, so pack number four took over the compare card category since Scrafty has 120 health. Yeah, as uh, anybody, let me know down below if there's any Paldean Fates cards that you're excited to put in a deck, you've already put into a deck. We are past the uh, the phase where you can't play them. They are they're definitely standard and legal. Um, Lantern has 120, which will tie. Moonlit Hill. Got an Iolate. Beautiful, shiny, and then a Mastabiff. So there's a baby shiny. There are so many shinies in this set. We need every single one. So appreciate every single, <laughs> every single shiny that shows up. Into pack number six. But yeah, I think uh, I've been thinking about an Espathra EX deck. Um, I just feel like it would be really annoying and not too fun to play because the the people you would play against are might get annoyed with you that they have to spend so much extra energy to try and get tax off. Um, but, I mean, it kind of happens. Ooh, Link Alone's going to take over the compare card with 130 health. So, the only thing I put into a deck is that Crisis Punch. That is a, a technical machine. It means you can, it's a tool card. You can attach it to your Pokemon uh, any of your Pokemon during gameplay, and it takes three energy to do 280. Now, part of the caveat as well is you have to be your opponent has to be down to their last prize card to be able to use that. So I put it in there just as kind of as a last ditch effort. I'm also I'm trying to build the um, loss box where the okay. So Iono is not going to do compare card. Um, I'm building the Lost Box with more um, Cramorants so that you can ignore energy costs. And I'm um, going to end on a Heat Rotom for that pack. So yeah, in theory you get four in your Lost Zone and then Cramorant doesn't need energy to do anything. So Crisis Punch, Blindside, any of those technical machines, they would be able to use in addition to their own attack. And I'm pairing Cramorant with Halucha. So Halucha, um, I forget which one it is. One of the Haluchas has an ability. You put it on your bench, and you can put two damage counters, um, one damage counter on two of your opponent's Pokemon. So then you have Blindside, which allows you to do 100 damage to a Pokemon that has damage. And, you know, you attach it to your... Attach it to your Cramorant, and then you get to use it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, looks like Oink Alone's going to take over or win the compare card category today. And then we're going to, ooh, Inca t or Tinka Tough, and then Clobberus and Magmortar. So, we're going to end on a baby. It does not look like the Skeledurge is going to uh, live up to the Meowskarada. So, Hopefully, we'll get into Quaqua Vol on Friday, and we'll get some extra pulls, because the three here makes the Skeledurge box uh, 
not look too great. But yeah, <laughs> hey, thanks for watching always. Thanks for playing. And in the end, a little music goes a long way.